The Swedish man, the typical Swedish man. Hard to say, actually. Uh, maybe tall, maybe? <laughs> Quite tall. 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 Uh, here in Stockholm, quite trendy. Um, take care of himself, actually, his looks. Take care of fashion, I think. Like to dress well. He cares about the way he looks. He's um, stylish, a bit insecure, uh, but sort of, you know, passionate about fashion somehow. They have a lot of babies and they have their strollers that they have, um, which is very strange. Well, it, it's just a vehicle for the kids to get around. I actually know that many Swedish men. <laughs> In the south of Europe, we have an idea about uh, like maybe they are more advanced in terms of equality. He's equal to woman. He's not superior to the woman. But here, um, I can see that that depends a lot on the generation. In my son's generation, they are uh, equally uh, equipped to take care of children and like that. He doesn't really take care of you, as is if, if you think of the of, of the South European man. In my generation, it was not like that. Friendly, nice, uh, maybe not so talkative in the first few meetings, <laughs> but then very friendly and... Mm. They have a sensitive side. I like that. A Swedish man is rich and old and pretty gross, I think. It depends where it comes from, <laughs> you know. You don't want to be unsuccessful, but you don't want to be too successful. You need to be the right amount of successful. And they have a Swedish expression for that called lagom, which sort of reflects our overall culture, which is sort of a, a sad phenomenon, I guess. But he's a business guy. Fairly, uh, I'd say, conservative. You see a lot of people wearing, you know, the same kind of color scheme. Uh, uh, a little hat. I like the way that they're, you know, keeping themselves sort of neutral in discussions, uh, always trying to find the middle ground. Obviously not English, and... <laughs> I suppose take, take things for what it is, not more. Hard to define because he's like a rugged type who lives in the woods and he's very metrosexual and lives in the city and collects porcelain. That's the Swedish man, something in between, I guess. So in that sense, I think, uh, yes, uh, the children of today have better fathers than they had before.